Um, some more news, and this is going to be geared towards uh, the pay-per-view this Sunday, Multiverse United. Uh, Julia, who is uh, from Stardom, she's the New, J- New Japan Strong Women's Champion. Um, she's going to be defending the title against former Impact Knockouts champion, Deanna Perrazzo, Giselle Shaw, and Stardom regular Momo Kongo. Momo Kogo. I'm sorry, uh, everybody. I... I don't know who that woman is. I, I know who Julia is. I've watched several Julia matches, and she's tremendous. Um, but I don't know who Momo is, so I, I, I apologize. Now, my buddy Scott Edwards said Momo was probably brought in to do the job. My prediction is it's Giselle Shaw, because I think that Impact would like to work with Stardom again. And, um, and part of how they make friends is by letting them beat their stars and Giselle loses more often than she wins. She's also happens to be the girlfriend of, of Scott Demore, so she's more than willing to do business for the company and uh, and uh, get her shoulders on the mat. She's totally cool with that. But that should be awesome. This is the first time that Impact and Stardom have teamed up, and um, you know I know that it's an Impact and New Japan show. New Japan owns Stardom. Stardom had shows that weekend, but they still decided to bring in Julia in, and Julia is one of their top stars. Um, she's also going to be, I believe, at that All Star Junior Festival that's happening the night before. This is going to be in the 2300 Arena the coming up. Um, if you're listening to this, it's actually going to be tonight. So New Japan has their All-Star Festival tonight. And with the debut of uh, of uh, Dipshit Enzo Amore, he's going to be in that show. But uh, And then tomorrow night, also in the 2300 Arena, they're going to be doing Impact versus uh, New Japan Multiverse United. Uh, in the main event, and I'm going to go ahead and beat the drum for the folks that have been following me on Twitter since Josh Alexander got hurt. But the Impact World Champion, Alex Shelley, is defending his title against Hiroshi Tanahashi. If you think I've given up on the put the fucking belt on Tanahashi campaign, you are sadly mistaken. I don't care if Tanahashi has no knees. I don't care if he has no hips. I don't care if he has a back brace on. You put the fucking belt on Tanahashi. Just for historical reasons, right? They could flip it back later if they want to, if they want to, you know, it'd be great if they could bring him back, you know, and have him do it at like impact 1000. That would be cool. I don't know if he can make it happen. I don't know. Understand. I don't know the schedule. I'm not going to do the research because I'm not actually a journalist, but it's like, why not? Why, why not put the title on him and then have him flip it back at a new Japan show or have him flip it back at victory road. Or like I said, impact 1000. How cool would that be? You know, you don't need, Shelly to hold on to the title. We all understand where this is going. They want Shelly versus Josh Alexander at Bound for Glory. They can still get there by doing this. You can have him flip the title back to Shelly, or you can have him flip the title back to Josh. That would be cool. I think Josh defeating Tanahashi for the title is bigger than Josh defeating Alex Shelly for the title. Um, and then if you want to have Alex Shelly go heel, then you can have him do that and, and turn on Josh, and then they can do the title the title match over at, at bound for glory or, or flip it back to Alex Shelley. And then Josh, you know, does his rematch clause or he actually never even lost the title. Josh just claims, claims his title match at bound for glory um, against Shelley. You could do it that way, or you could do a three way at bound for glory. You know, more Tanahashi on TV. I think the better look, I know he's not moving around too well and I don't really don't care. I happen to just really love this man. <laughs> I just, just a big fan. And the fact that, you know, earlier this year, I was able to see Tanahashi on Impact Television was awesome because not that long ago, Impact and New Japan, they were not friends. And so when I started covering this company, that seemed like a fucking pipe dream. So the fact that I was able to see it got me excited. And now he's in a world title match. You got to put the title on him. He's one of the greatest that there has ever been. He's never been the Impact Champion. I don't think he's ever actually held an American Championship. You got to put it on him. You got to do it. I, I, it's, it's the right move. It'll get people talking. It'll get people to tune into your television show. Do it. Leo Rush and Trey Miguel will also take on Hiromu Takahashi and Mike Bailey. That match should fucking rule. Um, I don't know that Rush is ready to go. He did hurt his shoulder a few weeks ago, but he's still listed on the card, so... Uh, I hope he's ready to go, or or maybe they have him do something on the side, or maybe they bring in Zachary Wentz for that one. Um, I, I don't know, but uh, either way, I, I think the match is going to be tremendous. And then we also got uh, Doki versus Sammy Callahan. 
Um, that should be that should be fun. A lot of Impact fans are pretending to know who Doki is, and I find that to be cute. Um, but Sammy always puts on a good performance. Zack Sabre Jr. and Shane Haste of TMDK, they will be taking on Moose and Eddie Edwards. You know, guys, I have been tweeting at Moose, at Eddie Edwards, at Scott Demore, at Impact Wrestling, saying that I think Moose and Eddie Edwards, that's the tag team. Not Moose and Brian Myers, and I know I got some against Brian Myers, and that's okay. But Moose and Eddie Edwards, that's the team right there. I, I think that that's your tag team champions. Two former world heavyweight champions, two guys that can main event, uh, two guys that are still big stars in this company. Um, Eddie got a little, a little, little heavy. That's okay. I, th I think, I think that you can do that. I think that that's your tag team champions right there. Put the belts on those guys, right? That would be, that would be awesome. But they're they're taking on uh, TMDK. Um, I I see Shane Hayes looking up at the lights there. Uh, we also got a an an a seven way scramble with Chris Saban, Frankie Kazarian, Rich Swan, Kevin Knight versus versus Bushi versus Mal. Uh, Mal is from DDT. He is um, I have learned recently. I've been educated by my buddy Ewan from the Voices of Wrestling Discord. That uh, Mao is uh, from DDT. He was Mike Bailey's tag team partner. He needs a big star there. So there you go. Uh, versus El Desperado. And then I believe that Yo has been added to this match. So now it's an eight-way. It is an eight-way match. And so those matches are always pretty crazy. I get the feeling Tower of Doom. I get the feeling uh, somebody's going to do a moonsault off of the top rope to the floor onto everybody while they're just standing there watching. I don't know that for a fact. I just know it's going to happen. Um, and then next we got Bullet Club versus the World. We got David Finley, Clark Connors, Alex Coglin, Kenta, Chris Bay, and Ace Austin versus the World, comprised of Josh Alexander, PCO, Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa, El Fantasma, and the DKC. Um, I don't know what the point of that match, and I feel like that is a waste of Josh Alexander, but you know, that's just where Impact, or not Impact, that's where New Japan sees Josh. And so they don't really see him as kind of being a big deal. They've never really put him in big matches any, anytime he's ever been on an Impact show. I know earlier this year he was supposed to defend the title against Kushida, which would probably have been the, either main or co-main. But, you know, he got hurt, and then now look look where he's being slotted. I, I you know, I'm sure the match is going to be good, but I don't like the main event one half of the main event for your biggest pay-per-view of the year um being in a uh, a silly match like that 